to our online class. Uh, I'm well. Hope oh, all of you are well. Uh, this class is basically for the student of uh, HSC, you know, first year. Okay? And you know, I'm going to take the class on, on two points. You know, it is in lesson in the three and lesson two. There are two poems in, the, in this lesson and two poems are composed by two words. I uh, hope all of you are keeping your text with you. Okay, I am going to the text and the first poem I am going to recite is, you know, it is, uh, it is by D.H. Lawrence. You know, I am going to, first of all, I am going to read out the poem then I, I will explain it. All people dream, but not equal. You know, we are human beings and we dream every day. All of us dream every day. All people dream, but not equal. But our dreams are not equal. All of us do not dream equal. Those who dream by night, the dusty recess of their mind, wake in the morning to find that it was rent. So those who dream at night after doing hard labor, we go to bed and you know, we sleep, we go to bed and sleep. In our dream, in our, in our dream, we dream many things. But when we get up, we forget everything. It is vain, it is false. Okay? But the dreamers of the day are dangerous people. So the people who dream, you know, who dream on day, they are dangerous. They do not, they do not shut up their eyes. They do not close their eyes. They dream with their open eyes. That's why the poet says them dangerous people. For they dream their dreams with open eyes and make them come true. So they are dangerous in a sense because they do not dream shutting their eyes and they make their dream come true. Okay? So, to the poem, the poet says that all of us dream, but our dreams are not equal. We have different dreams. When we dream at night, very often it is false. But the daydreamers, they dream with their open eyes and they make it, you know, successful. So, you can say that these people, uh, these people are uh, very, you know, courageous. These people are very, you know, challenging. They take their dream as a challenge. Okay? So, uh, you know, in your syllabus, in your question paper, you very often ask, you know, you, you are very often asked to answer the theme of a poem or story. And it is saying a bit maximum times you need to answer the theme of a poem and it basically comes from your text. Sometimes it comes from outside the text. So this is the first poem. So you need to know how to write a theme, how to write a summary. Okay? Now let's go to the next poem. This, this name is also great. It is written by Lanston Hughes. Okay? It is written by Lanston Hughes. Uh, in this poem, he says that dream is an essential part of human life. Without dream, we can't live. Okay? So, it's a part and parcel of our every life. If there is no dream, we can't live. So, for our existence, for our better living, we need to dream. Okay? Now, let us go to the text. And I'm first of all reading out the poem. Then I'm I am going to explain it. Hold first to dreams. For if dreams die, life is a broken male part. The poet is saying that we have to hold our dreams. We have to catch our dreams. We have to reach to our dreams. Okay? If, if there is no dream in our life, we will lose you know, the inspiration to live. 
Life will be a broken winged bird. So, you know, it will be broken winged bird, you know. Birds, you know, birds have wings. And through these wings, they can fly. So, if we don't have dreams, our life will be like a broken winged bird that we cannot, you know, go forward. We'll stop there. We do not find any inspiration. Okay? So, uh, if we do dreams, our life will be reserved. Hold first to dreams. You know, this is good enough now. Whenever you are uh, in poem, you will find a repetition of any line, flaws, or phrases. This is called enough. Okay? For when things go, life is a barren field, frozen with snow. So, if we don't have dream, our life will be barren field. You know? In barren field, we do not go in any direction. No crops grow there. You know, it is barren. So, in order to have a fruitful life, in order to have a better life, we need to dream. Okay? Otherwise, our life will be like barren field or broken wing bird. So, barren field and broken wing bird, these are basically uh, examples of metaphor. You know, uh, in literature, uh, there are some literary terms, simile, metaphor, conceit, all these things. Simile is basically an explicit comparison between two dissimilar things, like Rina is a rose. Rina is like a rose. See, Rina is a rose. Rina is directly compared with a rose. You know, uh, it means that Rina has the qualities of a rose. Rose has some qualities like it has beauty, it has fragrance, it has innocence. So Rina has this. This is a direct example. So metaphor is an explicit, com implicit comparison between two dissimilar things. It is a rose, okay? One kind of natural gift, and it is a human being. So Rina is compared with a rose without using any explicit comparison. This is called metaphor. And Rina is like a rose. Rina is compared with rose by using a word like or else. So this is called simile. So simile is an explicit comparison and metaphor is an explicit comparison, implicit comparison. So through this poem, the poet basically informs us that dream is a very significant, significant part of our life. Without dream, we can't, we can't uh, live well. We can't, we can't have a, you know, a happy life. So dream helps us to go forward. If we lose to dream, our life will be very, very uh, painful. We can't move forward. We lose our direction. So that's why, you know, though we fail, we fail very often, but we need to dream to live. Okay? So in this poem, the the poet shares us that the significance of dream in our life, in human life. So the main thing is that the dream is an essential part of human life. Without dream, man can live. Okay? And in the earlier poem, the main thing is that all of us dream, but our dreams are not clear. Who, those who dream at night, these dreams are very often false, fickle, fake. But those daydreamers, you know, are dangerous people because they think that dream successful. Okay? So I hope all of you uh, should read this poem at home and um, make the theme of the poem and uh, try to write some of the poem. Thank you very much. Stay with